My name is Dr. Shruvar Rachadri. I'm the Director of, of Interventional Services in NH Group of Hospitals in India. Today, I'm going to just show you around of our main working area in the cath lab of NH RN Tagore Hospital, uh, which is uh, in South Kolkata. It's one of four branches of NH that we have in Kolkata. Interventional Services is spread across the city, but this is our main hub of activity. And I thought that that, you know, as a general public and people, and even doctors for that matter, you're well aware of what cardiology does regarding the heart and what we do in cath labs. But we don't talk much about what interventional radiology or interventional services do. Now, just to give you a tiny bit of introduction, I mean, as an IR or interventional radiologist, we deal with the rest of the body apart from the heart. So starting from the brain to the chest to the abdomen, and the legs, the peripheral vascular system. So both vascular and non-vascular procedures we do. And it takes, all systems are covered by what we do, starting from the respiratory system, the gastrointestinal system, the urology system, gynecological systems, musculoskeletal, bones and joints, every part of the body has applications. Now this is a sort of the area that the, throughout the world where the main procedures, particularly the vascular procedures, take place. So I'm very proud to talk about the first installation of this particular cath lab. The uh, first time in India, actually, by a, a very well-known company, you would have heard the name, called Canon. Used to be Toshiba in the past. It's the first installation in the country, quite a state-of-the-art machine. And I just wanted to talk uh, it, uh, th throughout the course of the next few minutes about what this particular lab does. But before that, let me go to where we started 10 years ago. So, when we started 10 years ago, in 2014, I remember, we started here, and I and we and our team were blessed to have one of the first cone beam CT cath labs in the country. And it was actually quite pivotal to set up services in that time, where we used to, you know, this sort of application that you will not have seen in those days of having a CT scan. This is a CT scan of a tumor in the liver that is being targeted for treatment. And we had this cone beam CT in this cath lab, whereby the cath lab would rotate like this to give you a CT-like image. It was absolutely state-of-the-art at that time. We have done many, many thousands of procedures in this room. But, you know, 10 years later, this room is still working. But we are very lucky and blessed to have a second room. So this is the new state-of-the-art cath lab. Okay, so this has got certain advantages than what we had previously. Don't get me wrong. That lab is still working. That lab is still very good. Still better than very many cardiac cath labs up and down in the country. This is a dedicated, large field of view. Can you see the large field of view uh, monitor that gives us very large pictures, right? But this, what this lab does is that if you see this, the movement of the C arm, it moves all around. It actually goes outside and inside. Thereby, what it does is basically it gives access to all parts of the body. So we do a lot of procedures related to dialysis fistula when the fistula is not working. As you can see, the before pictures there, and you see the perfusion abnormalities that we can assess in somebody with a gangrene in the, in the leg and in the foot. So, you know, so of course we have ultrasound, we have got the state-of-the-art cath lab. This also does the cone beam CT like I showed you on the other lab. But in addition, what it does is that it, the movement and the access to the patient is much better. Look at the controls that we can, my technicians uh, here, when they use this lab, they have a handheld control there. Of course, we have many more additional kit that we use to deal with our patients. This is an IVAS machine, intravascular ultrasound. So we can go inside the vessels and do very fine, high resolution ultrasound of the blood vessels. This is a, an angiojet machine. An angiojet machine is something that deals with getting clot out of the system, right? These are all state-of-the-art system. This is called a penumbra. This is also a thrombectomy machine. This is designed to take clot out of blood vessels. Here is, you can see that a device being used to take a clot out again out of a vein. All of this, you know, this is state-of-the-art. Whatever you would get anywhere else in the world, you have it here in this lab. You saw pictures of 
perfusion imaging that we showed you inside, whereby a, uh, once we do an angioplasty to improve the blood flow in the foot, we can document the increased blood supply to the foot. There are many other things that this machine does apart from access, movement, you know, ease, ease for the technician. You saw the very large screen from which we can see what we are doing during the procedure. You know, things like if you get a CT scan done outside, we can incorporate that data inside our machine here. And we can use this information, this data, this that, that picture to guide us to do the procedure. In fact, when we do aortic stent grafts, we do stent grafts. You know, we don't actually have to acquire new images because the old image that was there can be incorporated in this machine and that can act as a template for us to put the graft in. So all I'm trying to say is that actually it's... We all depend on technology to, to deliver good quality healthcare and we are blessed in this organization with the team and with the kit that we have to do good for our patients. You see, there no good service delivery can be done without people. People as in a team. And a team means not just the operator, not just the assistant operator. It is the technical guys. It is the people, the engineers who look after the room. It is the doctors as a group. And the doctors can be my anesthesia colleagues working on with anesthesia because all these lists are covered by senior anesthetists. And, you know, it makes a big difference to what we do because a patient is comfortable whilst we're doing the procedure. Not that they're getting a general anesthetic. They're all awake. The procedures are being done under local anesthetic. But to reduce their anxiety to make the procedure more palatable, here is my anesthetic colleague who are there at hand to help us when we need them. Our technical guys who are there to use the machine. And not only that, we are very lucky to say that we are a teaching academic team, including consultants. You know, there are four of us trying to do and work across these two rooms. And not only that, we are a, we are a teaching center, the only large teaching center about interventional radiology. And you can see our young uh, boys and girls that actually are doing the procedures. They're actually learning about IR in this entire setup. So it just makes us a wholesome unit. It makes us a complete unit whereby we have a multidisciplinary team and I've only scratched the surface. I have not shown you the whole spectrum of what we do. All I wanted to say was, this is the only team in the whole of Eastern India and perhaps in the private sector, only one in the country really, to have access to two cath labs, one of which is a completely state-of-the-art cath lab with very advanced machinery and led by a wonderful team of doctors and te technicians and, and healthcare professionals. Thank you.